Dear BPM community, thanks for giving me the chance to uh, voice my opinion on the topic uh, of privacy in data-driven process analytics. I'm Felix Manat. I recently started working as an assistant professor at uh, the Eindhoven University of Technology in the process analytics group, which is led by uh, Bodewein von Dongen. Before that, I worked for three years at the Norwegian Research Institute, Sintef, and I'm also a co-founder of the startup KidAR. KidAR builds an industrial augmented reality solution for manufacturing workflows, and I'm driving the process analytics side of it. Recently, I have been very interested uh, in doing research on privacy challenges connected to process mining. Privacy is a broad concept, and it has received much attention in recent years. Very often, we associate privacy with um, the fact that we are sharing more and more data about ourselves and that this data shared once tends to stick around with all the storage capacity that we have today. And that means it gets more difficult to control what purpose our shared data is used for by others. Regarding process mining in one way, the privacy challenges are similar to those challenges of any other data analysis technique. If my event log contains data about individuals, be it customers, patients, or employees, then there is a risk that this data is used for a purpose that the individual person does not agree with, and that may potentially do harm to them. A common example for this uh, is from the healthcare domain, where events recorded in a hospital are used for process mining. Those events are connected to an individual and they convey information on the health status of that person. And I think we all agree the health status of a person is certainly sensitive information. But another example would be, for example, customer data that might provide uh, information on my shopping habits. And I may not want this data to be used for any other purpose than the necessarily delivery of the service. So far, these are very similar challenges as in any other data-driven analysis, like I said. Of course, there is this added sequential nature of event logs that adds a level of complexity um, on finding a good value uh, preserving and privacy protecting method for process mining. With sequential data, the re-identification risk uh, is much higher and uh, pseudonymization, which is often advocated by tool vendors, does only give very little protection against attacks. Similar to when COVID-19 tracking apps record uh, location data, it is highly likely that in an event log with sufficient detail on activities, uh, I'm able to re-identify individuals, at least when I can assume that some background information is there. This same issue, however, also arises in other fields, in other contexts. For example, when cookies are used to track customer over several websites. However, I think there is some challenge that is very particular for process mining. And I'd like to make my statement about this challenge. Event logs very often also contain sensitive data about internal stakeholders of the process, for example, employees. And that is it in my opinion, an important point where process mining differs in its privacy challenges from other data-driven analytics. Let me try to illustrate that by a story that I heard uh, more than 10 years ago. A German supermarket chain was accused of installing surveillance cameras in their stores. Officially, these cameras would be used to gather proof against shoplifting. But it turned out that the consultants they hired were instead creating detailed reports on toilet breaks and other employee behavior. These were in a way manually created event logs. And I hope you agree that these were clearly against the interest of the employees. Of course, in the end, management claimed that this was not how the system was meant to be used. But I think this story makes clear that we should be very aware uh, that there is a fine line between what tool vendors call, for example, task mining, which is of course meant to improve processes and to uh, provide less employee frustration. 
but it's a very fine line between task mining and worker surveillance. Living in a digital world, when we use process mining, we are now able to track employee behavior down to the individual keystrokes and clicks, and we don't add a clear warning CCTV in progress. Mining in email conversations or using sensor data to sense activities conducted are already coming up. So it does not take much imagination that such data can and will be misused when systems to make sense of it are available. I think the gap between legitimate process improvement and surveillance is not large and it's easy to misuse those systems once they're installed. I, see, I also see that this is recognized by most tool vendors. Most have published guidelines or some blog posts in which the responsible use of process mining with employee participation um, is advocated. However, and, and actually from my experience, most companies don't want to surveil employees. At least those with a functioning work culture trust their employees and they really want to uh, improve the processes. However, I see a clear research challenge on providing process mining methods that provide insights at the right level of granularity without having to keep all this data around that can potentially be misused. And I also see a clear research challenge on providing process mining frameworks, process mining tools that actively prevent such mis misuse. And I also think that tool vendors should do more towards this direction. 